How do threading crafts tie in with literacy? It's time for a special edition of Library Make. Threading crafts are a fantastic way to improve fine motor skills, an important pre-writing skill for kids. Little hands need lots of practice, but don't worry. Creating activities that help your child increase their dexterity can be both fun and easy. Like always, we'll use supplies you already have at home to create these clever crafts to engage your child in some kinetic entertainment. Today, we'll show you how to make three crafts, a yarn threading grid, some yarn wrap decorations, and a threaded purse to carry your crafts. For this craft, you'll need paper plates, cardboard, yarn in a variety of colors, markers, scissors, and a hole punch. Let's get crafting. First, I'll show you how to make a yarn threading grid. This is a quick craft that creates a canvas by threading yarn through punched holes. First, fold a paper plate in half and cut a rectangle out of the center. Then, unfold the plate and punch holes around the outside of the rectangle cut out in the plate. That was pretty easy, right? To play, have your child thread yarn through the punched holes to create designs, shapes, and letters. When they are done with one piece of art, they can unthread the plate and start all over again. Don't forget to wrap the ends of the yarn in tape to make threading easier for your child. Now let's try some yarn wrapping. These yarn wrap circles can be used as decorations or ornaments to show off your child's work. First, trace a few circles onto cardboard and cut them out. Next, cut notches all the way around the circles. Mine are about half an inch or a centimeter apart. Now it's yarn wrapping time. To get your child started, put one end of the yarn into one of the circle's notches, then let your child wrap the yarn around the circle, wedging the yarn into different notches as they wrap. Older children will enjoy creating letters, symbols, and even spin art. When your child is done, add a loop of yarn to hang and display their work. You need something to carry all your yarn in, so I'll show you how to make a threaded yarn bag that is great for playtime or anytime. First, lay two paper plates on top of each other and cut about a third of the plate off the top. This will be the opening for the bag. Next, punch holes around the outside of both plates at once. Make sure that the plates stay lined up correctly so the holes match up. Then, flip the plates over so that the insides are facing each other and the tops are aligned. From this step, either you or your little one can thread the yarn through the holes in the paper plates to hold them together. Then, thread yarn through the holes at the top of the plate bag to create a handle. From there, the bag can be decorated with markers or stickers. Ta-da! Threading crafts that keep your child playing and learning wherever they go. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks and happy, happy making. making. This has been the 25th episode of Library Make. Thanks for watching, learning, and crafting with us. If you'd like written instructions for this craft, click on the link in the description box below for a PDF file. For more information, you can check us out at our blog, kidsbrainplano.org.